In this video, we will perform a manual installation of the Simplify Express agent, and we will do a minimal installation. The first thing you need to know is which version of the OS you're running and the architecture. Notice here that I'm running a CentOS uh, version uh, on a 64-bit processor. The next thing you need to know is the AD credentials of a user that can join systems to Active Directory. This doesn't have to be a domain administrator, just a person that can put uh, systems into a particular OU. And speaking about OUs, you need to also know the X.400 notation of the OU that you want to be able to put in the computer object. Finally, you want to make sure that in your name server search uh, uh, entries in your etcvsolve.conf, you're pointing to a DNS server that knows how to resolve the Active Directory records. Um, optionally, you also want to make sure that you have the DNS server name registered in, in DNS because Kerberos is going to make use of that name um, to be able to uh, resolve it. With that in mind, now you can go to the Centrify website and download the proper bits. In this case, mine is CentOS 64-bit. And you want to also copy those files with any uh, utility, maybe like WinSCP, um, and copy those utilities uh, um, uh, to, the, to the Unix server. So I'm gonna basically go ahead and make this copy. And once I have the file copied, um, you will see that I'm, I have a, T, a TGC file. All I need to do uh, is untar it. And that's gonna give me several utilities here. The key here is that you only need two, two utilities. One is AD check, and then the other one is the Centrify DC agent. That's it. You don't need anything else. So uh, you can run an AD check, and what AD check is gonna do is going to check if any, everything to join Active Directory is ready to go, including uh, if Perl is present, if there's no patches needed, this is important for AIX and HPOX, if uh, DNS connectivity is correct, and if, if the Active Directory connectivity is correct. Once you have that ready to go, uh, you could just uh, do an RPM install or a YUM install um, of the Centrify DC agent. In this case, is uh, this one. And um, actually, um, you need to elevate to be able to do those things. And, and basically, um, that's going to be uh, your installation. Uh, when you do install the Centrify agent, nothing happens. Nothing will change in the system other than the Centrify bits are going to be put in the system. Um, no changes are going to be made to your uh, name resolution or your Kerberos environment. It's not after you perform a join that this actually happens. So if we, if we were to inspect um, the configuration of this machine. If I do a uh, cat, let's see resolve or uh, nssswitch.conf, nothing has actually changed in this file at all. Same thing with the kiv5.conf file. So nothing has changed. It's only when you join the system to the domain that you're able to do that. So the AD join command is very simple. We use the information that we gather. So we do an AD join, and this will be a workstation join and on a license in express mode, minus C, the OU of the object, that the, the OU that we want to place the object on. It will be, in this case, servers, U equals centrify SC minus V for verbose out output, minus U with the user that can join the system, and then the name of the domain. And obviously I have to elevate. It's gonna ask me for the password for the user in AD that can perform the join. And in this case, you will see that the system is gonna be joined. If you, uh, in this case, use the AD info command, you will see that uh, now the system is joined. If we re-inspect uh, the NSS switch file and the uh, KRB5 file, you will see that now 
uh, we've inserted ourselves in the password shadow and group what that means is that we're going to look first in active directory and then in files and if you look at the krv5.conf now it has all the encryption levels and the domain controllers in the domain now we're ready to uh, basically log in with an active directory user in this case the word notice that uh, you know I'm, I'm being uh, shown uh, the message of the day in a different prompt and in this case now I can do an AD query user that's going to show me all my users in active directory and if I do an AD query group is going to show me all the groups in AD this is because when you join with exp in express mode everybody in AD and all the groups are exposed to the system and they're able to join I hope this video was uh, helpful.